What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the Blade Fusion 360 Smart. So I'm super excited about this helicopter. I have wanted one for a while actually from the original Fusion 360 and then it came out with the Smart 360 and I just absolutely love the Fusion lineup. The Fusion 270 is my favorite of all the blades that I've had so far. So I'm super excited about this one. I want to give a huge thank you to Horizon Hobby, to Blade for sending me out this model for review. Thank you guys very much, and I can't wait to get some flights in and test this helicopter. So let's get started. First thing, if you guys watch my channel, you know Box Art. They do an incredible job on their helicopters. Anything Horizon product, they, they present it so well. It, it's best in the business, honestly. No other company presents their boxes so, so incredibly. Their boxes are always perfect. They're always colorful, bright. Their pictures are great. They got all the details all the time. You, you can't beat it. They, they take pride in their, in their boxing. So as you can see, Fusion 360 Smart. We just got some regular technical babble on the front. We got smart technology, rigid design. It's the same Fusion 360 as the original Fusion. This is just a smart, so it's updated. It's got all smart telemetry and technology, Avion ESC, 6250. So turn it, it is the bind and fly model. We just have different languages. And then on the back, we have all the size. This is a 360 size helicopter. So we are running a 350 millimeter main blade. We have the 685 millimeter overall length and a 190 millimeter top from skids to top of the rotor head. I believe this is running a 350 millimeter main blade. So it will be a decent sized 450. So let's go ahead and just get started. Let's cut the tape on this guy and let's see what we have in the box. I'm trying to position the camera where you guys can see. All right, so let's go ahead, we cut the tape. Let's turn this box around. And let's see what we have. So first thing, like always, you have your instruction manual and this is the Bible to all helicopters, to anything. Always keep your manual read through your manual this will give you everything you want to know from binding procedures to radio setup i see this a lot about guys asking about setting up their models if you buy a used model and it doesn't come with the manual go on horizon's website you can download the manuals for free on any model older newer discontinued doesn't matter all the manuals are always there if you do buy it new like this keep this uh, manual so you're going to have what your radio i mean you guys follow this step by step we will do a radio setup video but this will give you everything you need to know also in the back there's always exploded parts diagrams and showing ways that to rebuild and or repair the model in the manual so always flip through this will give you an exploded parts diagram. There will also be numbers with part numbers next to everything. So that way, if you guys ever need to fix something, you have part numbers. And there will also be lengths for the swash plate links. Everything you need to know. If you got to fix your head, look at the exploded parts diagram. There's your head. It'll show you where thrust bearings need to be. Shims, washers, main bearings, where every link goes. So always, always have your manual, especially if you're new to the helicopter and you don't know how to repair helicopters or you might have a question about a repair, this will give you everything. So this is the Bible to your model, keep this. And we just have a little free code brand swag. So you can register your product and you get a free hat, free shirt, something. Pretty sure it's a free hat. So now let's take the foam out and let's see what we got. Wow. So of course I opened the box upside down. So let's see what we have here. The first thing is we have a little goodie bag and this little goodie bag gives us some double-sided tape. These look like main shaft shims to go under the main shaft. We have some more double-sided tape, some Velcro, a little bit of zip ties, a little tiny Phillips screwdriver, and a couple different size Allen wrenches. Love the little goodie bag. Set that aside. We have the canopy nicely wrapped up. It is a fiberglass canopy and the paint scheme is incredible. Look at that. The paint scheme looks great. The colors look fantastic. I love that it's fiberglass. I'm a fiberglass canopy person. The red, the blue, the white, it all just looks so good. We got that blade logo right there. We got the blade down here, Fusion 360, just an incredible looking canopy. I really, really like the canopy on this thing. Set the canopy aside and the main thing, it's a bind and fly helicopter and here we are. 
So let's go ahead and set the box out of the way. Just go ahead and set the box down for a second. And here is the helicopter. So let's go ahead and readjust the camera real quick. All right, that's better. So here is the Fusion 360. So first glance, we have nylon skids, a nice wide stance. I know the Fusion 360 had very, the original, not the smart, had very narrow skids. So we have a nice wide skid on the model, nice flexible, take a little bit of a beating. We have a carbon fiber mainframe, and that is a two-piece frame design. So if you have to replace a frame side, you take one side off and you can pull your frame side. So we do have a plastic. Yeah, we have a, it's a plastic or an aluminum? Uh, I think it's plastic. Could be aluminum. Battery tray. And then we have a nice blade battery strap. We have the 3050s or the 30, 3055 cyclic servos and the 3065 tail servo. Servo's been around for a while. They're the 55s, they're a little bit updated. Very smooth servo. Running, of course, a belted tail, Healy cut main gear. We have a nice aluminum tail pulley. And then, of course, your upper and lower bearing blocks are aluminum. And your third bearing block down here is aluminum so you have your main shaft running through one two and three bearings swash plate is aluminum of course we have a mixing arm style head with an aluminum head block and a very nice aluminum black blade grips now i really really like the the fusion lineup of the black head and the black metal parts it just looks really good carbon fiber main blades with a very nice very nice tip design where they kind of narrow down out here so we have a nice set of carbon fiber main blades. We, are, of course, are running the 6250HX. So we have the 6250HX with a SRXL2 satellite down here. And then we have a super thick aluminum tail boom that eliminates the need for boom supports, which I am a big fan of no boom supports on a helicopter. I just think it looks really good, very clean look to the helicopter, and I like the oversized boom look. Carbon fiber tail push rod, of course your blade holder. And moving on to the tail, we have a very nice and solid, looks like carbon fiber or very thick plastic tail fin with a very nice red, white, and blue paint scheme. So it'll make the tail of the helicopter very visible. And the best part of the Fusion 360 is this tail casing design. So it is an aluminum tail casing and it just sandwiches the boom. So it, it goes on the outside, so you have two screws on each side, I believe. Yep, two screws on each side, and it just goes through and squeezes the boom this way. I'm sure there's something inside that holds it in place, but the tail casing is very big, beefy. The end of it is enclosed, so it's a very beefy design. You have a bearing back here with three screws holding the bearing in, and then your tail pulley, which is in tail shaft, which is an aluminum pulley with a bearing idler there. And then of course you have your pitch slider, which is plastic, and your link setter plastic going out to your tail hub. And we have some plastic carbon or carbon plastic or regular plastic tail blades and some plastic blade grips. Now I am okay with the plastic parts. Something has to give. The design back here is very, very nice. I've heard great things about the Fusion 360 tail. I've heard that it has incredible tail authority and the flight performance of this model is very good. And I am very excited to try it. It's very, very excited. Now main motor wise, we have a 3,400 kV main motor. And of course a Avion 45 amp ESC. So we'll have all the smart data. We are running this model on Spectrum's smart 3S2250C pack. So let's go ahead and open that guy up. This will be what we do the maiden flights and everything on and we'll get full telemetry of course. And these smart packs are very nice. I really, really have been enjoying them. It's a very thin, very thin pack. Very small, very lightweight, your third wire for your smart and it is not a G2. So of course you have a balance lead, but it is a smart pack because you have a third line there. So this will fit nicely up inside of here. And your pack is in, of course, wires to the front, plug it in. They are running an IC3 connector on both the helicopter and the battery. And then you have your third line to the connector for your smart telemetry data. So now let's go ahead and stick the canopy on this thing and see how good it looks. A uh, little tip for you guys. 
I always recommend using some three-in-one silicone oil on these grommets. Put a drop on each grommet every once in a while. It will prolong the life of the grommet and it will help with the grommets sliding on and off a lot easier, but it won't make it to the point of it being too loose to where they might fall off or pop out on flight or something. But I like the four canopy grommet design. Such a awesome, awesome looking model. Wow, I really like the color scheme. I really like the canopy. Blade, you guys did a fantastic job with this canopy. Now let's see it sitting next to the Fusion 270. Now we have it sitting next to the Fusion 270, which honestly, this, as of right now, is my favorite model made by Blade. I absolutely love my Fusion 270. But the Fusion 360, I've heard great things, and I am so excited to fly this helicopter. But here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. The 270, of course, is smaller than the 360. They both look fantastic. Love the Fusion lineup. The 360 looks so good. That blade design looks fantastic. The carbon in the blades looks awesome. The all black head looks great. I don't know if I touched on this, but I really like that they put the little line there for zero pitch at mid-stick. That's always nice when they do it. They did it on the 270 as well. And of course, the head design is very similar. I do like that on the 360, they did a nice flat black style head. On the 270, it's a little bit glossier, but they both look great. I love the color of the black. The bigger tail boom is incredible. The tail casing design looks great. So I am excited to get some flights on this thing. I hope it flies as good as it looks. Let's move the 270 out of the way. So there you guys go. An unboxing video of the Blade Fusion 360 Smart. Look at that canopy paintwork. Just fantastic. Blade did an awesome job on that paintwork. It really looks good. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it looks so good. Look at that. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope next I can do a Fusion 480 build. I have wanted one of those models for a long time. And I would love to do a Fusion 480 build for you guys. Build series, step by step, everything. So I really hope that's the next model that I can do. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank Blade Horizon Hobbies for sending me this model for review. Guys, give this video a like. Subscribe. There will be a link in the description for the Fusion 360. If you want one, go ahead and get you one. Awesome looking model. Take care and have a great day.